Good evening. Good evening. I'm Stephanie Austin, 6250 Arrowhead, and my husband works in this county, and we care very deeply what happens here. Across the political spectrum, people are waking up. Last week, former President Jimmy Carter stated, America has no functioning democracy at this moment. That's a profound statement. Senator Ted Cruz states, and I quote, the American people do not know what is about to hit them. Even the Government Office of Accountability tells us that we are not doing too well on the issues of constitutionality. We were stunned last week to see that on our website we had over 2,000 hits, and there are three 750, anti-750 websites. That's just one of them. Our website in Vero Beach is ac, the number four, pr.net. In the fall of 2011, Indian River County Commission signed the Sustainable Communities Grant Consortium Agreement. Months after seeing a notice in the Press Journal, I attended the 750 charrette. My prior background research turned up dozens upon dozens of YouTube videos in counties around the nation appealing to their local officials to drop out of these nefarious plans. It might be named Horizon 2030 in Alabama or Granite State Futures in New Hampshire, but these regional plans are all the same. The San Francisco 1B Bay Area meetings have been met with extreme opposition and they have now announced a lawsuit. Similar to the visioning meetings in San Francisco, the Charette in Indian River County was extremely adversarial. We were outnumbered by those required to attend by their government employers. It was obvious to all that the intent was to check off the obligatory public meeting. We did not go there to play the word cloud game or have our pictures taken constantly. In true Delphi style, our questions were never answered and we're still being Delphi today. We have gone to their outcome-based meetings. We have done the in-depth research. We have come to an educated conclusion. We are not misinformed or misguided as 750 contends. The fact remains, regionalism or central planning is not our representative system of government. It is a constitutional violation. A constitutional violation. On Twitter, Dover Cole and Partners boast about 750 steering where mass populations will live. The idea that 750 promotes the steering of a certain behavior is immoral and un-American. They are against the right to choose how and where we live. They are not part, we are not part of a socialist state. However, sources have told us that for their scheme to work in every county, that massive land use controls must take place. This is the next step. We have seen last month's press release from both the Federal Administration and the United Nations. The mandate is to ramp up implementation of sustainability globally, here and in the U uh, there, around the world and in the U.S. Please keep in mind that this is a global plan. The plan for the United Kingdom looks pretty much like the plan in San Francisco. Check it out on YouTube. The truth is available to everyone. I am proud to say that the Indian River County Commission voted to exit 750 on December 18, 2012. I am assured 100% that responsible planning still continues in my county. My three-month-old granddaughter will know that the people in this room participated in the epic struggle to save our nation from the so-called Sustainable Communities Initiative. And, and by the way, it's not sustainable, it's not about communities, it is an initiative. My husband and I thank everyone in this room for coming tonight. I respectfully ask you two questions. Will this commission stand against a costly, multi-generational, unending regional plan of inventory and control? And most importantly, I ask you once again, will 750 bring us closer to liberty or will 750 bring us closer to socialism? Please see stop750.com. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.